Hello YouTube, it's Conspiracy Boy. Boy, back in the day toys with a bit of a mixed video, uh, some eBay finds and some bonus stuff we'll show you afterwards. So, as you can see, I've managed to complete the Turtles Classic range uh, in a very small space of time. So the first two I got were from the same eBay seller. They were Bebop and Rocksteady. Both of these figures were out of the packets when I got them and they cost me about £9 each or £8.50 each including postage so it wasn't too bad, it was still more money than I wanted to pay for them but the detail on them is incredible I love the weapons and the articulation so very chuffed with those and rock steady as well with his weapons and a little removable hat the articulation on these was amazing, as was the detail. So yeah, really chuffed with those, even though a little bit pricey. And then these four, I got off a seller in China for ten dollars, including postage, which is about five ninety nine. So let's let's say six pounds. So these are about a pound fifty each. So I sort of knew they probably wouldn't be genuine. However, they still look pretty good considering they're quite blatantly knockoffs. Uh, I don't know if you can tell on the camera there, but the L hasn't come out quite right. Uh, the sword I've spent all night trying to straighten out, uh, it's still not quite right. And the eyes aren't too bad, but I think it's this one where he suffered quite all oh, the articulation isn't as good as the, the original either you can see there's a bit of glue or something here so yeah there that shows I think the sort of lesser quality but it's definitely the same mould so who knows and then next we have Donatello maybe you can spot an issue with Donatello already his uh, weapons rather bent there you can't really help that, his face looks a bit better again the belt still doesn't look correct backing not too bad, no apparent glue marks or scrapes or whatnot. so yeah that's not too bad either so it's just really the weapon and the belt that let down Donatello as you can see these two are quite blatantly well, they're a similar colour. I'd say this one's a lighter shade of green than this. And then we have Michelangelo. Quite obviously a much darker shape. Uh, you can see from the head. If we can focus a little bit. Let's try that. Oh, come on now, camera. Focus a bit. There we are. Bit of glue on the old eye here. A few scuff marks on the head. A little bit of glue on the torso there, we'll see if we can zoom in on that. Yeah, so you've got a little bit of glue here on the side. And the M isn't quite perfect really. Michelangelo. So yeah, not, not too bad again. Reckon there, and then Raphael. Face is pretty good. Weapons, relatively in shape. R on the belt looks pretty half decent. Ah, yeah. uh, so Raphael on the bottom's not as good as on the other turtles. I think this is the one with the scuffed back. It doesn't really come up too much on the camera, but uh, I'm sure one of the turtles is rucksack or backpack or shell, whatever you'd like to call it. It was pretty damaged, but uh, yeah, still. Considering these worked out about a pound fifty a piece, I can't really complain. Uh, the whole set cost me about twenty five pounds, which is less than what it should cost for two of them in the shops so really I shouldn't complain too much I did manage to complete the set for about £22 including postage so I 
it's not really all that bad. Uh, I took a bit longer than I expected showing you these guys, so you know, let me know what you think. If anyone would like these four knockoff turtles, I can give you the eBay seller's name. Though, since I purchased them at $9.99, including postage, he has stuck uh, about £20 postage onto the price. And these ones in the corner were obviously just a one-off from a seller. So, unfortunately, you might not be able to get hold of those. Uh, I'm going to do a second video today, though, guys. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have time to upload the two in one long video. So, there's my review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Range. Some knockoff. Some original. Oh, and before I go, I've just found this. This is a very small piece of plastic that was attached to Michelangelo's belt. Uh, so yeah, quite clearly that's not what you'd expect if you're paying £15 a piece for them, but still. There we are. Conspiracy Boy, back in the day toys, signing out.